Impact, left arm leaves the side of the body. Back of the left hand and club face continue towards target. Angle of attack positive, loft decreased. Right, we're on. Today we're going to be hitting driver further than normal because we're going to understand what happens with dynamic loft and angle of attack. Sounds pretty tricky, but we're going to keep it as simple as possible. So today we're going to be hitting driver. As I hit this driver right now, I'll just give you time to hit that subscribe button. There we go. And you should now have subscribed to my channel. So what makes a poor drive? A poor drive is lots of spin, a steep angle attack, lots of loft added to the golf club, subject to strike, but lots of spin on the golf ball is not good with driver at all. Great with short irons, but not good with driver. We need to try and reduce the spin loft, which I'll discuss in a second, on your driver to get maximum launch and maximum distance out of the shot. I take these two canes, so let's imagine the white cane is my angle of attack and my red cane is the loft on the golf club. So there we go. So let's imagine I've got a lob wedge in my hand and that there is 60 degrees. So that there's zero up to 60 degrees and that is the loft. So this is the dynamic loft at impact and this is the angle of attack. So we're swinging here on 0.0, .0 swinging nice and level. That would make sense. Now if I change my angle of attack, so if I move this down by 10 degrees and this moves 10 degrees also, so the whole assembly moves down by 10 degrees. So I'm now hitting 10 degrees down and the loft on the golf club is 50 degrees. Pretty good maths, eh? There we go, so we're 60 degrees of loft, 10 degrees down, 50 degrees of loft. That's fine if we're hitting wedge. To add loft, so if I, if I sit here at, at level, 60 degrees of loft, I add loft, it's going to increase spin. If I decrease the angle of attack, so the angle of attack goes down and the loft increases, the angle's much more. So I've gone from 60, I've gone down by 10 and added 10 degrees of loft. So all of a sudden we've got 80 degrees in here. So this is called spin loft. This is your angle of attack and this is your dynamic loft at impact. So how's that relevant to driver? So that is pretty much the opposite of what we want with our driver. With driver we need to change those characteristics the other way around. The reason I talked about the 60 degree wedge is because we associate spin with that amount of loft. So it's quite easy to understand that. So now there we go, there's the 60 degrees. 10 down, 50 degrees. So 60 degrees, let's say so you've got a driver. So if I've got a driver at 10 degrees, there we go, and that's not getting off the, air, off the ground very well. And if I make that angle of attack down and add loft to it, I'm adding spin. So my angle of attack's negative and I've added loft, so there's too much spin. And that's when control and driver becomes tricky because we've got angle of attack wrong, we've got a negative angle of attack. We've added loft as well to try and help the ball up because we're swinging down. The spin loft is huge hugely advanced in where it should be or exaggerated from where it should be and therefore we slice the driver we balloon it we we lose a lot of distance because the spin rate's too high so what do we want with driver so there's the level there's our 10 degrees now if we can get the angle of attack up the way and the loft brought down the way so bringing these closer together so angle of attack is now up let's say we're swinging up by a couple of degrees and we've brought the 10 degrees loft down a little bit all of a sudden we're going to a high launch and low spin. So a positive angle of attack to give us a higher launch and lower spin to make sure we get more distance. So how do we achieve this then hitting driver? Well, angle of attack to be going up the way. So we want to be swinging up. We want the angle of attack to be going up the way, but we want to take the loft off the golf club. We don't want to add loft to get there because again, that's making the angle wider, the spin loft more exaggerated. We want to swing up the way, but take the loft off the golf club. So angle of attack up, but loft decreased. I know what you're thinking, that sounds a bit funky. This is only happening for a, about an inch or so through impact, a fraction of a second when the golf ball is on the club face. Then from there, we, we continue to release the golf club. So it's just through impact, just that small fraction. It's not for the entire swing. It's not for a yard of club head travel. It's for a small, small section. And obviously this is exaggerated, but we want to swing up and take the loft off. So the feeling, the exaggerated feeling, as we come into impact, as we're hitting golf ball, the club head is traveling up the way, up the way, but we keep the loft off. So to exaggerate, it would be this action there. 
Now that is exaggerated, that's way past the golf ball, but it's just through impacts. We're here, and then we're up, up with the hands ahead, with the loft off the club, and then we release. So we get to here somewhere, it looks like we've not done it, but if we rewind, we're actually there hitting up. We don't have to exaggerate away out here. So a drill for this would be just soft shots back to here, through to here and stopping there and feel as though you hold that face off. Angle of attack is a positive one, but you've taken the loft off the golf shot, off the golf club. So we're there, grip down the shaft, back to there, halfway up to there. So hands halfway back to here, club parallel to the ground, hip high, hand through to hip high, but the club shaft still down the way. It's not added loft. So I'm there, 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 there. So there, there. Working on launch, working on decreasing the loft. And of course, when we add speed to that, so there, there. So I feel as though, I feel as though I'm stopping there. I know I'm not stopping there because dynamically things are traveling. But I feel through impact, I'm there. After impact, the club's come up off the ground and I've kept the loft off and through. That sun's gone behind the cloud and it looks like it actually might rain now. Never mind, do we? <laughs> Never rains on the golf course. Oh. So, here we go. A little bit longer now and through. Longer, through. Hands are feel as though they're leading the shot more. I'm getting that angle of attack going up away. Get the loft staying off. So just back. Good. Again. Back. Good. There. There. It's good to do a really soft one there to feel it. Oh, it was good. It was really good. Then once you feel as though you've got that or you feel as though you're creating that action or feeling that motion, then we can add full shots in. But as I say, it's just for a fraction of a second through impact. So through impact, just going to feel as though down to there, a little bit loft off as we come up. And then from there, of course, the club's going to release there. Just for a fraction through impact, then of course the club will release up to here. We're not going to hold out here all day long. I'm good there. So as I come down here, what my feeling for this is, is the left arm leaves the side of the body. Eureka Golf Swing talks about the left arm leaving the side of the body, which lets the angle of attack be a positive one, yet keeping the loft off. So let's feel this. It's pretty good, eh? <laughs> but down, left arm leaves the side of the body, angle of attack's positive, yet we've kept the loft off. Impact, left arm leaves the side of the body, back of the left hand and club face continue towards target, angle of attack positive, loft decreased. Again. Okay, wasn't quite as good. Tried to over exaggerate the move. This is all part of the learning curve. I find that when making videos, I over exaggerate it and don't quite execute. There we go. Very, very good that one. That's brilliant. Love the feeling of that angle of attack being positive, yet the loft being off. Reducing the spin, increasing the launch angle, brilliant. It's come to this time of the video again for me to ask you to subscribe. Thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed. If you've not subscribed, it's free, free of charge to do so. Also click that bell notification, that will give you instant notifications of all my videos. One comes out a week, so you don't want to miss any of them. And also the thumbs up button, give that a little smash as well, that'd be kind. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye now.